You know, when, when I ask people to give examples of a perfect woman, they say thin, pretty, fashionable. Mm. But when I then ask for a description of a wholesome woman, then people say healthy. So I think we agree on the fact that our bodies and how we project ourselves is an integral part of who we are. Do you think there's an ideal body? I feel like the media wants us to think there is. Um, there are certainly things that we see you know, portrayed in film and in advertisements that show this kind of idealistic female body. But I think it's so far from the reality of the world we live in because I mean, the beauty of living in New York City is you walk down the street and you see people of all different shapes and sizes. And it, I think that it really throws away, at least for me, it has thrown away this idea of the ideal body. However, I do think that we put on a pedestal this view of a female body being a certain way. So she has curves, but is not too curvy. She is skinny, but not too skinny, but you know, in no ways would you describe her as fat. And like, there's certain things that she has long flowing hair, but it's not untamed. Uh, <laughs> so there's certain things that are, are I feel like um, people want and I mean, I, I have fallen subject to this myself of like, oh, I see this beautiful person who has all these things. If only I were a little taller or a little thinner or whatever it is. Um, so it's kind of like what there is an ideal. And then but the reality is there is such a spectrum of bodies and shapes and sizes. And I think the key the struggle is trying to match your reality with this constant bombardment of the the media essentially saying this is the what a bot a female body looks like and i do think that today in 2020 we are getting we are doing a lot more to get away from that um more of this like real advertising but i i feel like there is still a ways to go to say to get away from the idea that there is one kind of image of a woman's body that is generally accepted as beautiful and say like there's actually thousands of images that are beautiful. Well, I think it's definitely true that there used to be a very specific image of what was beautiful. Um, it was white and thin and able-bodied, mm -hmm. but like you say, with a lot of pressure, not too thin, not too mm -hmm. fair, not too, <laughs> not too anything, but yes of everything. And now there's an acceptance of all body types and all body shapes. But I think what I still find problematic is that our focus is still so much on body. Mm. Where we're saying that, okay, it used to be that only you were beautiful. Now you're all beautiful. Everybody gets a sticker. You're all amazing. All your bodies are amazing. But we're still putting so much of a focus on body. So that a woman still has to wake up in the morning and say, oh, this is my body. But my body is okay instead of that being such an obvious thing to everybody like right. why should i have to think this is my body my body is okay we want it to be that our automatic instinctive feeling of self is positive that i don't need to give myself that positive message and if i think that if the media messages were not so strong of we are looking at your body your body image is intertwined with your self-worth that we would all do so much better. So it's almost that the ideal world is one where the judgment of body is not a factor. It's like we're all accepting of who we are and the focus is not on the external but on something you know deeper or um, or more, more about, again, going to self-esteem definition, more about those abilities that we have. Right. Well, I think, you know, when, when I ask people to give examples of a perfect woman, they say thin, pretty, fashionable. Mm. 
But when I then ask for a description of a wholesome woman, then people say healthy, um, they say strong, they say natural. And in Hebrew, it's interesting that the word for perfect and whole is actually the same. It's shalom, shalem, to be complete. And so we need those elements where a person should feel that they are perfect because they are beautiful, because they are healthy, because they are strong. And all those elements need to come together to give us a real picture mm. of what a woman's meant to be. And doesn't shalom also mean peace? It means peace. So it's peace and it's that harmony of right. knowing that I have, I guess, an inner peace. And I think that for me, that was really an aha moment almost of mm. recognizing like, whoa, wait a second, like what every woman is, if we feel complete and whole, then that is perfect. That is what we're meant to be. And as long as we feel that we're not enough of this and not enough of that, which is often the messages that we're getting, then we're never going to be happy. And we're never going to have that self-esteem that, that we need to have in order to, you know, to do the best that we can be. Right. I love this idea of coming, in some ways, coming to peace with or not even just like being at peace with our bodies and that sort of like synergy um, because I think that in in some ways when I'm saying it, it makes me think of just acceptance and kind of recognizing that, again, like I said before, there's different shapes and sizes and so I maybe am not going to be the stick thin, you know, six foot tall, blonde, beachy waved supermodel. But I'm, ex I'm very accepting of who I am and I'm and loving myself for it. And just even with, you know, flaws or things that in my mind that is <laughs> skewed by media, are, I'm not perfect, but it's me and, and sort of a piece with who I am. And it moves me away from thinking about my body image in this um, narrow way that kind of society and and whatnot have led many people to think and it gives me the opportunity to just be very accepting and, and celebratory of myself because I am able-bodied and I am you know in good health and that's that says a lot yeah look how it's made you smile <laughs> <laughs> and I'll thank my dentist for my teeth <laughs> so yeah but I think it would be amazing if we could have a no body talk, mm. you know, reality where, again, instead of of talking to people about that and complimenting that, but that we would be focused with other people and with ourselves on our wit and our wisdom and our kindness and thoughtfulness. And we would just really get to know people for who they really are and appreciate ourselves for who we really are. And that would, I think, be so empowering for everybody. Right. I love, I mean, I think I do this with some of my girlfriends where instead of, it's a little along the lines of the no body talk, but it's like the don't hate on yourself kind of thing. So I could complain about, you know, the laundry list of things about myself that I'm not obsessed with, but it's like, why? Why put that out there in the universe? Why say that out loud? So I'm not going to talk about my bad hair day or, you know, my raggedy old clothes that I haven't replaced in a few years, like, which I guess is less body. But anyways, you get it. Um, I think that that, but yeah, it's, if I don't talk about that, then I'm able to focus on my own kind of inner strengths and, and abilities, as well as you know, with my friends, we're not talking about how we all look. We're talking about the substance of who we are. 